Good morning, K2. So today we are going to read another book about how to make art and keep our earth healthy. This book is called Why Should I Save Energy? Okay, and I want you to think about the word energy and what that means as I read the book. So this book is illustrated by Mike Gordon. Why should I save energy? In my family, we're careful about how we use energy. We never used to be careful. We wasted lots of energy. We used the car all the time. We always left the lights on. We turned the heat on full blast and we all took hot baths with the water nearly up to the top. Mmm. That's wasting water. One evening, my friend Robert was playing at our house. Suddenly, there was a power outage. So all the, all the power went out. So the lights were gone. Oh no. I thought electricity was always right there whenever we needed it. You just switch on. Robert said that we must save energy. But why? Why do we need to save energy? What do you think? Why do we need to save it? Robert knew about energy because he had learned about it at school. Energy is precious. Precious means special. That's right. Electricity is energy made by burning fuel. That's coal, oil, and gas, said Robert. So when you burn oil and gas and coal, it makes energy. Cars, trains, and buses also run on fuel. So they use up a lot of energy. They need the energy and electricity to move. Oops. Our teacher says the world's fuel supplies won't last forever. If we're not ca careful, they will run out, said Robert. So if we don't take care of it, we're not going to have any left. Then he asked, what do you think would happen if our homes ran out of energy? Hmm. There would be no power for cooking or heating. We'd get cold and all our food would be cold too. So wouldn't you, we wouldn't have any power to make the food hot or cook it. And what do you think would happen if energy ran out at school? No computers. You would have no computers. Sandwiches again. Oh no. And what do you think would happen if the whole town ran out of energy? So if everyone ran out of energy. What would happen? What do you think? The whole town, the whole of Bangkok ran out of energy. Buses and trains wouldn't run. So people wouldn't be able to get around and nothing would reach the stores. So how could we save energy? I know, just stay in bed. There are many ways to save energy, said Robert. So I want you to listen, okay? So we can turn off the lights when you don't need them. So if you're not using the lights and you don't need them, you can switch it off. You can close the windows and the doors when the heat is on. You can try putting a sweater on if you feel cold and put on the heat. These are most in cold places. You can go to school by bus. Well, going to school by bus or train uses less fuel than going by car. Because in a bus, there's many people on it, right? 
instead of each of these people taking their own car, they take one bus. So that's help save. You could also ride your bike or walk, or you could share a ride. Robert was right. Saving energy is easy and you might find yourself doing new things. Just like in quarantine, I'm sure a lot of us are doing new things as well. Saving energy saves money too. So you can have extra treats now and then. The end. So I want you to tell someone in your house about three different ways that you can save energy. All right, bye.